Hey guys, Cody here, back again with another video. Today, we're gonna talk about concerts and what you can do to make your concert experience more enjoyable. So I just went to a concert on Valentine's Day, took a couple of my friends with me, they wanted to go. My friend Carly, her exact response to her boyfriend when he asked if she wanted to go see a Killswitch concert on Valentine's Day was, yeah, that sounds romantic. We had a great time and I thought, you know what, it'd be pretty cool to talk about concerts and what you can do to make it more enjoyable for you. So I wasn't exactly allowed to take my really nice camera into the venue with me because they don't allow HD cameras in there unless you're part of their media pack. I took a couple of videos on my phone. My friend Carly, she took a video on hers. I'll throw those in there so you can see uh, up front what a heavy metal concert is all about. Here's a list of six things that you can do to make your concert experience more enjoyable. So tip number one, you're going to want to put your wallet in your front pocket. There are shady people in the world no matter where you go and there will be people pickpockets trying to steal your stuff from you. You don't want that to happen. Keep, your, keep it in your front pocket, it's just going to make it easier. Peace of mind is really important when you're at these things, especially if you're going to be down whether you're in the crowds or you're in pits and whatnot. If you keep your wallet in your front pocket, you shouldn't have to worry about this. If you're going to a big outdoor festival, you're going to want to bring some things to make sure that you don't overheat. You're going to want some water. Venues do give free water, it's required, but if you bring your own, some of them will let you bring it in with you and you're going to want to have like a water bottle. They have like refilling stations where you can fill up your water and that way you don't die from heat exhaustion. A hat is always a good idea where a hat keeps the sun away from you. Not really sunglasses, you don't want to bring those because you don't want a chance on losing them or getting them stolen. Sunscreen is another really important thing, especially if you're, you know, like nice and pasty white like me, you're going to want to put some sunscreen on, otherwise you're going to look like a lobster after you get done with this festival. Especially if it's multiple days for this festival and you're going every single day, you're not going to want to go on day two if you're burnt to a crisp. Tip number three, it involves being in the pits if there are. Uh, if you're gonna be in a pit, don't fear the pits, guys. Pits are a lot of fun. Everybody is usually really helpful. If you fall down, they're gonna pick you up. The pit pretty much just stops. They pick you up and you get back to it. Uh, actually being on the outskirts of the pits is a lot worse because people are falling, people are getting pushed, so it's actually safer to be inside the pit than right on the outskirts of it. I just went crowd surfing for the first time in my life at this concert on Valentine's Day. It was a blast, I don't regret it at all. It can be dangerous, you can get dropped, but most of the time people take pretty good care of you. But if you're gonna do it, do it once. Once per concert anyways, because as soon as I got done crowd surfing, I got dropped, looked at the stage for like one second, ran by and one of the security guards grabbed me and he told me, hey, if you do that again, you're out of here. I was like, okay, deal, because I did it and that's what I wanted to do, so it's done. Merch. If you're gonna try to buy some merch, especially like a t-shirt or something, I suggest doing that when a band is playing that you don't necessarily care to see. If you go and you grab some merch when somebody else is there, I walked straight up to the front of the line, bought a t-shirt, they all do credit cards now, so paid with my credit card, grabbed my shirt and I threw it off. If you are 21 or older and you want to get some drinks on, um, pre-gaming, you know, is always a thing. If you can find a bar nearby, have a couple of drinks there, it's going to be cheaper than at the venue. The venues are always going to hike up those prices really high. But if you do decide to drink inside the venue, the best thing to do is to get one of these wristbands. You get one of these wristbands, show them that you're over 21 and they give you a wristband. And you get to go to any bar that they have on their venue and you just show them your wristband and they give you your drinks, no hassle. You don't have to pull out your ID every single time. A lot of places sometimes will just give you the wristband right when you get there. After you have your wristband, go find a sidebar. Don't go to the first bar you see, no matter how bad you want that drink. You want to go find a sidebar. Uh, we went to the House of Blues in Anaheim, and the first bar you see is a huge bar. They had like six bartenders. 
but the line was like eight people deep at each line and I just walked around the corner and there was a sidebar that I walked up to and bought my beer. Way easier, quick, all about that instant gratification and you're good to go. And this last tip was from my buddy who I talked to. He said, you know, for safety reasons, uh, jewelry, chains and stuff, first of all, you don't want to lose them, but jewelry, especially you ladies that have, you know, rings and stuff with big rocks on them, those hurt when you get hit by them and you just don't want to lose them you don't want to hurt anybody everybody takes care of everybody at these concerts so just leave the jewelry at home throw it in your car lock it it'll be safe and have a good time at the concert so i hope you enjoyed those six quick tips on how to make your concert trip a little bit more enjoyable if you liked it hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next video